Hi friends, um, as you all know, we are going to have an annular solar eclipse in parts of India. So I take this opportunity to explain to you uh, some information about solar eclipses. Uh, basically, I'm going to talk to you about different types of solar eclipse and um, as to why they don't occur every lunar month. So let's start with types of eclipses. There are different types of eclipses as you might have heard. One is partial, the other one is annular and we have to total solar eclipse and hybrid solar eclipse. Uh, so let's try to understand what's the difference between total and annular solar eclipse. So as you all know, a solar eclipse occurs when the light from the sun uh, to the earth is blocked by the moon. So um, the diameter of the moon is approximately 400 times smaller than the diameter of the sun. And also uh, the moon is about 400 times closer to the earth than the sun is. So because of this ratio, the apparent size of the moon in the sky is almost similar to the apparent size of the sun in the sky. But however, uh, the orbit of the moon around the earth is not perfectly circular. It is oblated, we call it an ellipse. So because of this reason, uh, um, at some points of time, the moon is closer to, to, to the earth and at the other points of time, the moon is farther away from the earth. So during a solar eclipse, which happens on a new moon day, if the solar eclipse happens when the moon is closer to the earth, then we call, that a uh, uh, we call this a total solar eclipse because the apparent size of the moon is comparable to the apparent size of the sun in the sky. When the, moon, uh, when the solar eclipse occurs, when the moon is farther away on its orbit from, from the earth, then the apparent size of the moon becomes smaller you can understand this by holding a ball in front of your face and moving it farther and farther away. As the ball goes farther away from your eyes, the apparent size decreases. So when the moon is at a farther point on the orbit, we observe an annular solar eclipse. Um, and in this case, uh, the sun is not completely covered by, by the moon, but a small rim around the moon is visible, which is basically the sun behind it. Okay. So now let's try to understand why uh, we don't have a solar eclipse once every 28 days, which is a lunar month. So um, as I mentioned, the orbit of the moon around the earth is not circular. It is, uh, uh, we, we call it an ellipse. And also the orbit of the moon around the earth is inclined at an angle about five degrees compared to the orbit of the earth around the sun, which is the ecliptic. This lies in what we call as the ecliptic plane. So uh, because of this reason, eclipse can only occur when the moon is intersecting this ecliptic plane and this does not happen every month. Uh, and now let's come to why we uh, don't observe a total solar eclipse or an annular solar eclipse at all places on earth. So uh, as I mentioned, uh, we observe a solar eclipse when the shadow of the moon falls on the earth. Now the moon is not a very big object, so therefore when the sun is behind the moon and uh, the moon is casting a shadow on, on the earth, the whole of the earth does not lie in the umbra, which is a darkest shadow of the moon. So only some, a, a small strip um, of land uh, on earth is, falls in the, uh, in the darkest shadow region and only in those places we observe a total or an annular solar eclipse. In rest of the places, uh, the sun, uh, the moon is not directly blocking the sun and therefore um, we don't have a full solar eclipse. This is called as a partial eclipse. And a hybrid eclipse is one where uh, for a certain duration of the eclipse, we observe a total eclipse or an annular eclipse and for rest of the period, we observe a partial eclipse from the same location. This can happen for the same reason that the orbit of the moon around the earth is tilted at about 5 degrees from the ecliptic. Okay, so um, and uh, I would like to leave you with uh, one more bit of in information. Uh, although the moon is completely blocking, almost blocking the sun, it is still a very bad idea to observe the solar eclipse directly with naked eye because from whatever part of the sun is exposed, harmful rays can still enter your eyes and can lead to partial blindness. So, uh, be safe, don't observe the eclipse directly with your naked eye and enjoy the solar eclipse.